Iran and Israel are on the brink of catastrophe. It seems that the Iranian regime has provided Israel with the perfect excuse to take military action against Tehran. This opportunity came after the Islamic Republic was implicated in the drone strike on an oil tanker, owned by Israeli billionaire A. Yalofer, off the coast of Oman. Two crew members, a Briton and a Romanian, died in the attack. This has led to heated exchanges between Israeli and Iranian leaders that have reached dangerous levels. Israel's defense minister, Benny Gantz, warned of an armed response and urged to international community to stand with Israel, saying, we are at a point where we need to take military action against Iran. The world needs to take action against Iran now. Iranian leaders, meanwhile, have made no attempt to ease tensions. For Tehran, backing down in the face of Israeli threats is a sign of weakness. That is why the Islamic Republic immediately signaled that it is prepared to respond to any potential military action carried out by Israel. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Saeed Khadabzadeh tweeted, We state this clearly, any foolish act against Iran will be met with a decisive response. Don't test us. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett indicated that his country might act alone against Tehran. Although Iran boasts that it could easily annihilate its rival, Israel's overall military capacity is superior to Iran's. But it is important to point out that in the event of war, Iran would probably deploy its proxies, Hezbollah and Hamas, to inflict damage on Israel. The IRGC has equipped Hezbollah with sophisticated missiles that are capable of striking Israel. Furthermore, a war between Iran and Israel would probably drag in the U.S. since Washington would be forced to back its ally Israel militarily. In a nutshell, as tensions between Israel and Iran escalate, it is important to point out that any war between the two would probably turn the region into a conflagration, dragging global powers into the conflict as well.